What's up again guys, Brian here at 3TR, and as you can tell, I'm not doing it alone, and as I've been talking for several weeks, you know damn right who this person is, and I'm subscriber 3TR number one slash brother slash best friend of over 15 years. Welcome Antoine, and first off, you can say you're welcome to all these great viewers for being the first subscriber. Alright, uh, thanks everybody. Alright, now, as I said last week, I'm going to make this episode very, very special because he is going to be answering your guys' questions, and luckily, three of you guys actually sent them in, which is actually perfect because you know three is my favorite number, hence 3TR. So, because three totally rolls. So, the first two questions come from Galen429, and he wants to ask you, Marvel or DC, which do you prefer? Hands down, I love Marvel. Why? Why? Yeah, why? It's Gambit. Gambit. Well, Gambit, Gambit is my favorite Marvel character. Well, Gambit's never really done anything too significant. I'm a DC person. He's totally underrated. We were well, actually talking about this not too long ago. I know. Ago. Gambit's cool, but he was kind of, you know, kind of crapped all over in the Wolverine movie. Despite the fact that fans have been wanting to see Gambit in an X-Men film, and when they finally got him, he wasn't really all that great because he was hardly in the movie. I'm not one of those fans. I liked him in the movie. He was freaking awesome. I was upset that he didn't have more screenplay. Like, he was in there for, like, maybe 30 seconds in the one action scene he got, and then he came back just to, just to pick him up and leave. Alright. Okay, so Marvel. Alright, Galen also wants to know, what superhero could you see Brian playing in a movie? Hmm. Oh, this is going to be interesting. That's a good question. That's a good question. I'd want to say something like, Batman, because I know that's his favorite character, and he knows a lot about him, so he maybe would be able to get into character maybe really if I, well. Maybe if I was a foot taller. And Caucasian. Exactly. Uh... Although Batwing is black, technically, and he's a version of Batman, so, you know, that's just beside the point. Go ahead, keep going. But a superhero... Hmm... You know, I'm just gonna go with Batman, because... Yeah, Batman. And maybe they should cast me instead of Ben Affleck. Alright, next two questions come from Criticism Guy 2009. And I actually saw your Miley Cyrus rant, and I gotta say, spot on. I have not seen that performance, and I don't think I want to. But going on to your question. Wait, wait, wait. I think everybody who thinks he should should leave a comment don't, saying man. he should. No, I don't want to watch say that. 20 comments. 20 no. comments. He has to watch. No, 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 hell no. Okay, next question. He wants to know what do you think of the Saints Row 4 hype? To be totally honest, I have never played any of the Saints Row games until like, two days ago. Likewise, I haven't played any of them like, and have no I played attention. Saints Row the Third. It's actually, it's pretty fun. It just seems a bit too just, wacky. For yeah, it, it is. It's very wacky. I mean, I don't like Grand Theft Auto all that much, but at least that's much more grounded and I know kind of the whole concept, so it's easier to jump into than Saints no, Row. because Grand Theft Auto, is, it's more of a serious tone game. Exactly. You can yeah. actually have a lot more fun with Saints Row. And I, I don't like some people that just go out and blow stuff up. I actually stick strictly to the story and then do a number of side missions. I don't actually go insane just getting a rocket launcher going around town blowing stuff up seeing how many cops I can kill. I've, I've never see, tried that. Even the story is not even like ground. The story is wacky as well. Well, San Andreas is okay. I mean, it was kind of the same typical. But, alright. On to the next question. What do you think of Ben Affleck being the new Batman? I say, let's give him a shot. Same here. You know, Absolutely. I mean, Batman's always changing. Can't really Grand be man. too prejudiced against somebody. And I think every single person who's played Batman, except George Clooney, was kind of been skeptical. And I think overall they did a very good job. Yeah, everybody's new. They bring their own flavor to Batman. Exactly. All right, last two questions come from Mr. Runic Lord, who actually sent in his questions at the last minute. And you want to know, if you could give Brian one award, what would it be? Aside from being my oldest friend, uh, let's see, his dedication to 3TR, Aww. the most dedicated award, would definitely go to Brian. Alright, and the last question of the night is, what is your favorite TV show? Alright, alright, that's a good question, alright. Because I actually do watch TV, so... Uh, well, I, well, I don't need... Well, I have Netflix, Hulu, and a whole bunch of DVs, and downloadable videos, so I actually don't even need to watch much TV these days. 
Plus, it's BBC. I don't know if I can say I have a definite favorite show because Breaking Bad, The Walking Dead. I haven't yet to watch both those uh, shows. I'm pretty sure she Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is going to be one of my top once that starts. Uh, what else? What else? Hmm. You know what? I actually do watch Teen Wolf, and I was watching The Vampire Diaries. Uh, what else? I don't know. Hey, Jarvis watches Teen Wolf. Well, That's why I started it. Why the heck was Jarvis watching that? Why would he be watching that? Teen, because he's a teen. I know he's a it's, teen. It's freak. It's made for his generation. Yeah, so was Zoe so, 101, but I wasn't watching that show. I saw maybe one episode and thought, no, this show isn't for me. No, no, I, I watched a couple episodes of that as well. Oh. Well, that, I had a girlfriend at the time. She yeah, you're, yeah, you, you're, 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 well, I'll openly admit you're better at the whole girlfriend thing than I am, but I don't know, I'm still kind of in the loop, but who knows, anything can happen in the future. And if that, those are all the questions you guys sent for him this week, please feel free to send in any other unique questions in the comments down below, like always. I will be leaving, not this week, but Thursday of next week, so we will be filming next week's episode with him doing it, so please. If, if you have a good chance, check out this experience of asking him questions, please join on to the WAN Baggin if I said that correctly. And if you like this video, please feel free to like, comment down below, and please subscribe to check with me in my future movie, video game reviews, and episodes of people's questions. And like always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.